So this is our zone one when we come right out the front door. This is our original food forest that we, we planted on contour and we put swales in here. So if you like look at it, you'll see the swales. Um, and that's to collect the rainwater. And we have some bigger mature pear trees in here. Well, there's lots of fig trees up here. There's Primark blackberries up here. There's different kinds of ground cover, different kinds of sweet potatoes and pumpkins and squash. We run that stuff for ground cover. There's wonderful pomegranates. There's three different varieties of cherry trees in here. There's always lots of fig trees in here. Um, there's a goji, and for anybody that raises goji, I always have different ailments with my goji. This, this year I had powdery, powdery mildew, and I sprayed it with some peroxide and it worked a little bit, but my goji always does really good and then it just starts to turn sad. This is starting to set fruit, but it just looks really sad right now. And I don't know if there's a certain type of amendment I need to amend the goji with. I've watched different videos. I haven't figured out the goji trick yet. Um, we mow down this elderberry because it just gets so big and high. It's coming back and it's fruiting. We'll get a little bit of elderberry off the front here. The, this is also like our nursery for our younger trees. And what I do is um, I'll take a tree that's in a four inch tree pot and I'll plant it in a five gallon bucket in the ground. And what that'll do is that'll develop a very large root structure that'll fill that five gallon bucket. I always make sure it's like an old five gallon bucket with holes and cracks in it. And those roots will grow out of the five gallon bucket. And if you shimmy shake it and whatever, when you're what I do is I let it develop that root structure for a year and, uh, and then I up plant it in the ground in a go for basket the following year. So these are some new collections. That's a black Pakistani mulberry. That's a Pakistani mulberry from Mike Kincaid. Um, this is an Austurk or an Australian mulberry. That's from uh, Trees of Joy, Basaman. And that's a newer variety in the States and I'm super pumped and it's a crazy wicked fast grower. It's putting on new growth, it's even put on a little fruit there at the bottom, or it was anyway. So these other fig trees that haven't graduated to go into the ground, they're in the pots and they're setting fruit. Uh, that's a low quat that Snowmageddon burnt to the ground. It's coming back strong. It's a tiger panache right there. They're the wonderful pomegranates. We should have pomegranates this year. Um, it's setting flowers and all that good stuff. So we're hoping for the best on that. Some more pears. Uh, that pear tree behind Matt has lots of pears on it. It's got a little bit of fire blight. I trim it off. Some of this might not be fire blight. It might just be stuff that I've already trimmed off that I just didn't, yeah. Like see, that's a, that's just a branch that I, I was pruning, I prune a lot and uh, I don't always get them all right away. And then I just chop and drop and let them, that's the same thing that's happened here. This isn't, uh, this isn't blight. This is just a limb that didn't get, that's what those limbs are up there. It, it is, it's a lot of, uh, I, I'm trying to keep the tree lower. Um, you can see we really need the rain. You can see the sweet potatoes are starting to look well here pretty good. Uh, we have hopefully, Lord willing, we have quite a bit of rain coming in tonight. So I'm not gonna water any of this. And then I got, these are two new ones this year. I got a variegated and a non-variegated kumquat. I think that's a kumquat, Burbank kumquat. And then up here, what I've done is I like the partic a particular uh, French uh, variety of fig that has several different varieties. It's called the Col de Dom. And so I have all my different Col de Doms kind of planted, not in any specific order, but it's just something kind of cool that I do. All right, chickens, beat it. They're up here picking out the bugs and the spiders. The only problem with the chickens is they kick off all my mulch, so I'm always shoveling more mulch, but it, it creates this renewable cycle where they're kicking it off, I'm putting it back on, and they're keeping the pest down, so it's kind of cool. It's, uh, I appreciate the chickens' hard work. And so that's our center, food forest, and over here is another food forest where we got some almonds, some more figs, 
Uh, that's some moon glow, two moon glow pears, um, more figs, uh, Primark blackberries. And we'll probably, we should be able to show you some, if they haven't been picked yet today, some Primarks that are ready to roll. Oh, no, that is fire blade. I need to cut that off. Man, the, the uh, squash bugs are getting to these ones. And I know it's super dry and it definitely needs some water, but. Yeah, see how awesome it tastes? And if you wait. Spit out the seeds. If you wait. Tomorrow I'll come out. Wait broke the wagon. Mm. And they're big O. And these are important because these are the dirty dozen. So if you're buying these in stores, they're really spray bombed. Because you can see how the squash bugs like them. The squash bugs and the fruit flies and all that good stuff. Another low plot. I got burnt to the ground, but you can see all this stuff is intensively planted. And, uh, huh, it's interesting. That one's good. Yeah, so th these are our different zones. And uh, to be super honest, didn't really put a lot of thought into it. It just kind of did it. Tried to put a little bit of thought into it. Real heavy mulch. Verily, verily, very rarely ever water this, which is why it's smaller. Um, but once a tree gets established, it takes off like that tree right there. Boom, it's like quadrupled in size since spring. Like way more than quadrupled, like, yeah, and it's like over eight feet tall now. And it's just as old as almost all these fig trees in here. And this, once they get their roots established right, um, they take off. So that is the food forest. Uh, Matt might break this up into a couple, two or three videos, just so that it's not some stinking hour and a half deal. But that's it, y'all. Comment down below. Let us know what you're growing. And we should have some fruit trees available. Thanks, everybody, for buying cuttings. Well, obviously, we'll have cuttings available again in the fall. Check out our website for anything that's hot and new. Uh, as far as homestead products, we should have trees once we get some roots hardened. My grow station's over there. I got some trees started. Um, I think that's it. I think I covered all the happy eye notes. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see y'all.